You know, I think uh, you know a lot of people want to become a head coach, but I think you need to be careful and make sure you're picking a situation that you can win at. And I think when you look at Southeast Missouri, uh, the three straight conference championships, you know, trip to the NC2A regional, and the upcoming facility projects speak to the the commitment of the administration and, and the pride the community has in the baseball program. It's what a wonderful opportunity for me and my family to have a chance to be a head coach and do it at a place that is already winning. It's not broken. You don't have to fix it. Um, I'm, I'm very, very grateful to Coach Beezer and he, you know, the, the cupboard's not bare. We've got good players and some momentum build, building and uh, hopefully we can just continue in the direction he led us and uh, keep building on what's already happening. You know, I probably think it's the men that I've had a chance to be around. We talk about three current SEC head coaches. Uh, Rob Childers at Texas A&M, Dave Van Horn at Arkansas, John Cohen at Mississippi State. These are three men I've had a chance to work for and they're mentors of mine. And Watching how they ran their programs and how they conducted their business and how they led men. And uh, I've had a chance to be a part of two different trips to the College World Series as a full-time assistant in Nebraska in 2005 and Texas A&M in 2011. So I've had a chance to be around some big-time people and, and make it to Omaha um, in a big environment. And uh, I think I was always just watching. I was always paying attention to how they ran their program and how they conducted themselves. and just kind of prepare myself, you know, from a, from a, if I get this opportunity, this is what I would like to do. And uh, I'm just very grateful for the chance to finally do that. Man, you know, as a hitting coach, I'm excited to be in the OVC because it's an offensive league. So it's, uh, you know, if you look at it, um, it seems to be more of an offensive conference and it's almost, uh, almost sometimes, sometimes the mid-major level sometimes is a two-arm league. You see a really legit Friday guy and all the big time closer, but uh, a lot of the rest of the arms sometime are more the average college pitcher, you know, 87, 89 with a slider. And if you've got a good offensive philosophy and a good approach, I think you can get those guys in a hurry. So to me, it looks like the OVC from the outside looking in, obviously, I, I've yet to go through a year here, but it looks like it's a pretty offensive place and a pretty fun place to uh, coach offense in. You know, I think the most important thing if you talk about just coaching philosophies is make sure the players know you care about them as a person first and as a player second. Um, you know, it's a cliche, but you know, they don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. I think especially in today's world, I think you've got to work hard to form a rapport and connect with a student athlete. And I think if they know that you value them as a human being and care about their progress both on and off the field, I think they'll give you everything they have. And I think that uh, if you treat them more like an employee and you're here to play for me and run my program, I think there can be a little bit of a disconnect. But I think as long as you uh, have their be best interests in mind on and off the field and care about them as human beings, I think they'll give you everything they have. You know, in terms of recruiting, um, I'd really like to, obviously, if you look at the current roster, and, and obviously, like I said before, it's not broken. I'm not trying to fix it. Um, Steve uh, was very heavy in the JUCO ranks, and we're not going to change that just for change's sake. But I do think an area of opportunity, which could be big for us, is the city of St. Louis. Um, I've had great success recruiting St. Louis uh, in the past in terms of at Texas A&M and at Nebraska and Kansas State. And I've got some really good connections there in terms of high school coaches and the summer ball coaches. So I'd like to see if maybe we can do a little better job in St. Louis without uh, changing uh, the great recruiting they've done in the junior college ranks. And um, also uh, just building on the momentum that's here, you know, not maybe having to do things differently, but just capitalizing on the excitement with the current winning state of the program, the new facilities. I think maybe we can attract a, a better caliber of in-state recruit with what's going on here on campus. Just really happy to be here. I'm grateful for the opportunity. Um, my wife and I have a lot of moves as an assistant coach, right? We've moved uh, eight times in 16 years, and we're happy to be a place that has got a great community to live in, and hopefully we can put down some roots and stay for a while.